Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the coral room on Mark's Aquatics. Maxspect have kindly sent me two of their new Maxspect Jump Gyre Flow Pumps. And there's the number of them, the MJ GF2K. Fantastic looking little pumps, they really are. And they come with some nice little additions to them as well. So I think what we should do is go into the kitchen, check them out, and then we'll come back and we'll put them in the tank and see how they perform. Right guys, okay, here we are. We've got the box out. Let's open him up and see what we've got inside. Nice little booklet there on what's going on and what we need to be doing. So we can put that aside for one minute and we can see what else we've got. So obviously we've got the pump itself here. Good old sturdy construction there. And it's got also adjustable heads on it as well. So you can turn those and adjust your flow rates. We've got the control unit, we've got the pump there, we've got the cables, we've got the power supply here, extension lead to go into the power box, and obviously the cable there which goes into the main pump. But um, also, a lot of you might say, I don't like these, I don't like the orange impellers inside. Well, they actually give you two black spare impellers as well there, with, with these little guards, which are fantastic. You don't get many of these now, with the, uh, I've seen these before, I've seen so many small fish get sucked into, uh, into pumps, which I can just demonstrate as well. There you go, that fits on there nicely. And then we got it completely covered, which is fantastic. It's a super easy, ingenious little design there, I think. So we can put that on there. Also, we've got spare seals, we've got spare screws, impeller heads, gaskets, and a spare end cap as well. Another great feature on this pump as well, guys, if you take off the, you can take off the side just by slowly taking that off like that, put that to one side. If you want to change out your impeller, you just hold it, give it a, it's quite stiff. You can pop that off of there like that. Yeah, basically what you do is you just push that little rubber grommet in the end there. If you want to change it over and then just rotate that until it fits nicely pushes on there and then you can return clicks back in there like that and then you haven't got the orange impeller you've changed to the black impeller if you like that because it hides it a little bit more i'm gonna think i'm gonna leave the orange ones on there gonna look funky in the um in the tank but there's also another little design feature on here which is i think only really on this on this type and you get this little end cap as well. So if you just want to use one side, you can basically just push that end cap on there like that. Then that stops it. Then you could invert it in your tank like that. So you could be blowing water that way, okay? Or you could have it that way and have it single-sided if you like as well. So you've got a lot more options with this one than the last ones, which was absolutely fantastic. But with my tank, which is seven foot long, I'm going to need maximum flow i would have thought from two of these i'm going to have one each side and they're going to be pushing quite a lot of water so i think what we should do now is we shoot off into my coral room and we can check it out i'll fit one of these or i'll fit both of them up very simple to go on strong old magnets on there just remove that piece inside the tank outside the tank click it together job's done it's got a lovely big rubber gasket on there look which is going to Stop all that vibration in your tank, so you're not going to have any noise whatsoever. So that's a really good little de little design there, because you normally see these, and they're not they're not too uh, they're not too good, and they do tend to rattle around a little bit and wobble and vibrate. But you can see that's a really strong. But you can it's got a lot of play in there as well. So that's a good sign. So what we're going to do? Let's go into the workshop now. Sorry, the coral room, and we'll check it out, and we'll fire these things up and see how they perform. Hey, how's it going, Bob? You cleaning up the place? Excellent stuff. You know your job. 
There's some other little pellets you've missed there. Look, where's your friends? Where have they got to? Ah, there's one. Look up on the top there. Nearly at the summit. <laughs> I do love hermit crabs. He's absolutely covered in coralline algae all over that shell. And he's got his little beady eyes working his way towards those beans. He's nearly onto them. <laughs> Great stuff. Keep up the good work, mate. Right, there you go. I've set one up. Well, I've set both of them up. Set them up in two different ways so you guys can see. Now, this is the original angle, which you can put them in on that horizontal um, angle like that. And as you can see, one's running away. Now, if we go down all the way down this other end of the tank, seven feet away, you can see now I've set the other one up. Oops, a little bit glary this end. But I've set the other one up with the end cap. So we've just got like the tower running and I've got it on a vertical instead of the horizontal, okay? And I've faced it so it's blowing the water towards me and it's going all the way along. So we've got all about that end of the tank. That one is pushing water all the way around in that circular motion as it's sucking it up through the bottom. It's blowing it around in that way. And then from this angle, it's going to be blowing along the front of the glass. And obviously I can angle that head any which way I want to angle that flow to blow in any direction that I want it to blow in. So that's fantastic. Now I've got one set up here, just roughly now. I've just something just fell over. I've um, I've got this one set up here, just roughly now. Just cable tied it up there, and I've done the same over this end here. Right. So this one's going. So very very simple pumps to use. I mean, there's the instructions down there. And um, all the different wave patterns that you can get. At the moment, I've got it running in manual. It says M there for manual. It's on 60% and it is on constant flow. Okay, now if we press the bottom function button, then it gives you all the different wave patterns and different things that you can do and different percentages there. So you've got from the very top there, you've got, you've got the constant speed. You've got pulsing mode, you've got gradual pulsing mode, random mode, and alternating gyre mode. Okay, there's all the different ones there, and you basically you just literally you turn that, which is quite a nice little smooth operation there. Turn it to whichever one you want, and I love this LCD display, it makes it so clear. And the other ones, the older model, they, this wasn't uh, you, this wasn't actually part of it, but uh, these are fantastic. So you can easily scroll through. So if you go onto that one, you just depress. Sorry, I've gone. Let me get back down to the. That's the one I want. My fingers are too big. Depress the middle button, and then you go. The arrow is for up. So basically, if you want to go up power. You can go all the way up to 100%. We can go all the way down to zero. Oh, sorry. Well, to zero and 10%. And it gives you a really nice little flow rate around the tank. Or a very strong flow rate around the tank, which is what I'm going to need for uh, for my tank. So if I put it on 10% now, I move that out of the way. Now you can see that water is slowly moving you have some nice little eddies on the top of the water there but if i turn that up now to a hundred percent now you can start to see it really picking up the pace and really making that water blow around and it's got a long way to blow and as you can see the other one down there now all the way down we can go down to this one and i'll turn this one up to a hundred percent as well Click on that, power up, 90, 100, and now that water is really starting to shift. And with that, with that horizontal on the top, boy, the way I've got that one vertically, you can see that water now is racing through here. So we've got basically we've got two currents meeting now, and that is going to move all that detritus out from underneath the crate 
obviously it's not on the legs at the moment i've got a lot of these little clear leg uh, sorry these little legs there to put underneath just to keep that supported so it keeps everything moving off the bottom there but we're starting to um you can really see that <laughs> that vortex now it's really picked up here but obviously i'm not going to be running them that that high because i want a nice steady flow so without any dead spots that's what i want Ah, uh, look, my little bristletooth tang's come out to say hello. Ooh, and as he says that, he goes, he, oh, he's the only one still in there at the moment, guys, from the last time I, I put a video up. So um, he's still he's still pretty shy. He's the only fish in the tank, but he comes out for those little beans. He loves those. And he goes and hides in his little cave again under there. Yes, guys, and, and with the setting up of these things as well, the, these instructions are super easy to follow. It's basically depress and hold down buttons for two, three seconds to swap from manual to automatic mode. Very, very easy to, to work out what it does. There's hardly any method of telling you what to do there. It's basically just the pictures and showing you how to depress this and depress that. So all your systems are going to be different to mine. They're going to be smaller tanks, different flow rates. You're going to use different pulse methods. You can use, you know, you can have one which is going to be a multi pulse which is going to change over time it's going to wind up it's going to wind down it's going to change angles and um, it's going to be a really a really good little pump for you guys to get if you've got your marine tank so i really highly recommend getting one of these and i'm not just saying that because max bet have given me these to to put in the coral room here um obviously i really appreciate that i normally give most of my stuff away but i'm going to keep these for myself this time i think <laughs> yes i'm really looking forward to getting this coral room all rigged up we're getting there nice and slowly but that's the way you build up a marine system never try and rush it make sure everything's cycling you can still see that diatom phase on the sand in the in the far tank here not much now just a little bit around the front here the rocks nice and clean and everything is starting to come together crystal clear water got some nice little mushrooms down here as well which I picked up from my local fish shop the other day, which looked nice. I think the light might be a little bit too strong for those guys, so I'm going to have to change the lighting in here a little bit. And I got a nice chunk of live rock as well, which is going to ex which is going to seed the tank a little bit more and add a few more little things into the tank, bacteria-wise, and make it a little bit more mature. Well, overviews of this little pump, I think it's fantastic. Um, like I said, with the other pumps, you can't take off single sides and cap them off and use it as a single-sided pump, like just like this would be. You've got to have both sides, so you've got the double option, the single option if you've got a smaller tank. And it's like I, when I was going back into corals many years ago and keeping salt water, it was it was always a thing where you ordered a pump and you thought, oh no, and you you turn it on and on its minimum it was blowing things around the tank, the sand was lifting up. And this with the, with this, you've got multi. You know stages you can program it right the way down low you can take one side off so that's real thumbs up from me that is I, I think it's a great little addition there so it's um it's going to take a lot of the guesswork out of it for people and they can take one side off add a side back on if it's not too powerful and uh, there's a lot of change up which is fantastic you get all the spares with it as well really nice big clear lcd display which is going to go nice in your cabinet and look the part fantastic like i say you get the ballast there you get the uh, all the cords waterproof um coupling there from there to the pump cable and it's all really good strong um good strong you know construction obviously keep these well out of water don't get anywhere where they're going to get wet make sure you've got drip loops and stuff in your in your tank if you're going to have them below because you don't want anything running straight the way down and going up into your into your um, control box and ruining that so make sure you always get drip loops which if you're unfamiliar with which is going to be like that so if water ran down there it's going to get to that point and it's going to drip off and not go back into your power supply or anything like that so make sure you got drip loops they're really important so yes it's a big thumbs up from me and a big thank you to max Beck for sending me these uh, amazing little pumps and um, I'd highly recommend these to anybody that's uh, starting out in, in the marine, in the marine hobby. They're a great little multifunctional pump, and it's the first one that the first ones that I've ever owned. And um, 
with the flow rate that I'm getting down this seven foot tank for the for the size of this, and I think that's only around eight inches wide across there, okay? So you're talking four inches, four and a half inches aside with the housing as well. They're amazing little pumps. So go and grab yourself one, guys, if you're into the marine hobby. I really would recommend it. Now they also sent me this coral glue gun and a hundred frag plugs. And we're going to get into that on another video when I get some more coral. And then we'll fire up my coral saw and we'll see how this stuff works. And we'll do a little review on that as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Love you loads. Take care. You're all stars. And I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics. Bye for now. Just me and my guitar.